right, Monday morning, we're back at the house and my uncle's actually here. His name is Jeremy, so he's the one who built the kitchen for us and he's here to kind of assemble some of them. I am here trying to put light fixtures together that need to be put together for tomorrow. Over the weekend, the guy from church did the skip trowel or maybe less than skip trowel on our um, hood and the fireplace. I think it looks great. It's pretty much what I had in mind. I think most of the trim is in place. So now there's gonna need to be the caulking and prepping and everything done and painting. That will be happening by the end of the week. I think it should be done. And then next week we have to move in. So it's coming down to crunch time. I don't really know how it's all gonna go yet because uh, we have two houses to clean. This place, obviously this is a construction clean at that and some of the stuff will be going in like countertops and plumbing and stuff will be happening probably as we're moving in. So I'm not sure how that's all gonna look yet, but anyway, yeah, it'll be interesting. Nice. Well, really nice. Very good. Awesome. I just wanted to make sure. It was yeah. Really no, it's cool. No, it looks yeah. absolutely beautiful. That's to, from. I don't know what Lynn was looking for, but that's exactly what I was expecting it to look like. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it should. It should pop really nice with some paint. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Very good. You the man. Very good. Hey, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Have a good day. You too white now obviously at this point but my plan is to paint it and then you'll see a little bit of it like you'll see the texture pop just a little bit I didn't want anything too major at all and Nick and I were both feeling very overwhelmed at the thought of trying to figure out how to achieve that look by ourselves because we've never done that and when he offered we were like yes sure that would be great <laughs> took him a couple hours that's it he's a really good does a really good job at drywalling and stuff so he did that for us and we're very thankful. So that's one thing off the list. Fixing something? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, hello. Hi. What are you doing? I'm wondering why I picked all of these light fixtures. <laughs> Be nice once it's all put together. Excuse me. Can I go in? Excuse me. <laughs> okay, light fixture number two. Some of mine I could swap out in different rooms if I decide to last minute, but this one still gets like globes at each of those places. And then it'll be here in our tray ceiling. Hopefully it'll Add some interest in here. I really, really like the olive in here. If you're new here, this is pewter green. And the kitchen is ripe olive, both by Sherwin. What you doing? What you doing? Hey. <gasps> oh. This is almost all. I may have put something out in the fridge yet. I can't remember, but I grabbed some of these. I don't do this very often, but I thought it'd be nice for the boys. Oh, I did get some Capri Suns that are out in the fridge already. I got some strawberries. These are really easy breakfasts. Right now, I'm trying to do everything easy and simple just because we're usually trying to get out the door in the morning and everything with the house. So these are really good. 
they, Caden likes these. And then I grabbed some apples. These are for tonight with the ham. I'm gonna do like scalloped potatoes or shredded potatoes, I think, for supper. Then I have some bread. This is also a breakfast thing. Uh, maple syrup, I liked this. I like this for my iced coffees and also, you know, pancakes or whatever. Grabbed some of these, just some snacks, some very unhealthy cereal. I, Oakland likes these little Danimals. And then I have Pringles for the boys' lunches. Easy, quick grab and go. And then there's these little snack yogurt cups. That'd be nice to pop in. And then also, this is not food, but they had some more new things at Walmart for the babies. I love their stuff. They have like the most cute things right now. So this is in their, I think their modern organic section. So just some neutral uh, pants. And then I got this one, this is for Harper. Just a nice onesie. And they have these um, sleepers. So now these do not have zippers, which is one drawback, but they're so cute and they're affordable. So I grabbed that one and then also the same print as the other one. So if you haven't checked Walmart recently, definitely do so. And while I'm at it, I want to show you something else I had grabbed from Walmart. I got for Christmas for the girls. I had showed it on my Instagram. I will have these linked below, but they actually have them in stores too. And they have other patterns as well. The cutest thing. So I got this one. This is for Harper. I did get her at 12 months. She's in definitely sizes larger than what she's in. Um, and then Oakland's, I think I got a 3T. Because she's so tall, it's so hard to find dresses that are long enough. Even this one, most likely I'll wear some leggings underneath, the one that she has, but I got them matching. And they're like 12 something, so affordable. I just can't believe it. So yeah, that's what I grabbed at Walmart. So I'm taking croutons over to mom. She needed some of this stuff for tonight. So Parmesan cheese I had on hand and also some cream of chicken. This is the Walnut Creek brand. I really like this. And I'm also taking some dinner rolls over that I had stuck in the freezer when I grabbed them at uh, Detweiler's. This is also Walnut Creek brand. They started carrying these. And you guys know I talk about Walnut Creek all the time. So I was happy to see these. I don't think I've seen them before. They do carry some other bread type items at the local Little Pinecraft market as well. Um, but they are sponsoring the video today. I'm very grateful for it. I've talked about them so much and I love their products. They're based in Holmes County, so it's Amish country. And if you're not at all familiar with them, they try to make as many of the products themselves as they can, but they do a lot of canned goods. They do a lot of like baked goods, bulk food items. They have two main stores, Walnut Creek Cheese in Holmes County. And then they distribute the stuff to other stores across the United States. So they would maybe tend to be more in your Mennonite or Amish communities, but there's also some in non-Mennonite Amish communities. So always be on the lookout for the little horse and buggy symbol on it. Um, it's just, I can stand behind their products and I grew up using them as a little girl even. We had access to this stuff. I love their deli meats and cheeses as well. And you can order some of that online. They don't have as wide a variety of meats and cheeses on their online website, uh, walnutcreekcheese.com, but there are some things you can get. And I love their cheese. I've been itching to, to get something from their online website since someone told me that they have the little Stroop waffles. I was introduced to Stroopies as they call them. I think they're actually from Lancaster County, but um, someone that works there said that Walnut Creek carries them and I'm like, oh my, you should not have told me that because I may need to buy some. It's like a little, the ones I had had some chocolate covered on them and they would had different flavors. So anyway, they have a lot of good things. Uh, their cinnamon bread is one. You could order that I think online and they'll ship it to you. So you can also use my discount code Lynette for 10% off your online order and try it out for yourself. So I think that in December, it tends to maybe take a little longer than normal. Usually it can take maybe a couple days to get to you, but with Christmas and everything, I think it can maybe be a little bit longer. So give them some grace <laughs> here in December if you are gonna order, but just wanted to tell you guys about their stuff. I'm gonna be going to the market here in Pinecraft to pick up some lettuce and maybe a few other things. So I will show you more if I get to that. show you 
mom's festive front porch. It's a little harder to do in Florida, but this looks good with the gray. She's got her plaid pillows and some other fun touches. It's looking really good around here. Ice coffee from Postal on the go. All right, so I'm over here at the house today. I'm installing these um, sliders, hard the hardware for the drawers. Uh, Jer is working on getting this wood wall uh, installed on the back side of the um, island. So things are happening over here. Going to have to be moving in a little bit over a week. So which is kind of laughable, but here we are. Next up, I'm gonna get lunch for the guys and myself from Deli Deli. Java Dog is not open today, but I did just get coffee, so no big deal. But they have amazing sandwiches and fries and sauce. Thank you much. There you go. <laughs> Got the Deli Deli. I had breakfast at Deli Deli, so I'm supporting them pretty much. You did. Well, I did not have any breakfast, so, you know. I hope you like that sauce on top. If you don't, bad luck. <laughs> fixture that had like the chrome on it I don't know did I not see it or what but anyway I just sprayed it black so this is what I'm putting in the kitchen above the floating shelves but I felt like I should have some brass to it because I have the brass pendant so I was like well I'll use my rub and buff and put it on the inside and that led to me putting some on the stem right here and I was like, well, I guess if I don't like it, I'm gonna have to spray it black. I was hoping to have it look kind of, you know, old. And I think I might, once this kind of dries, I'll go over it a little bit more, but I actually think it might be okay. That way it'll tie into my pendants. And so I need to do the other one yet. Except now I'm running out of this European whatever color it is. Uh, Yay, Nate. Absolutely love it, Mom. Absolutely love it. I know that, I can't tell. Okay, I am headed back to Mom's house. I got most of the chandeliers and light fixtures put together. We had some hiccups. Again, it seems like you can't just have everything nicely fall in place, right? So the one in the dining room, the stem part, I didn't calculate properly. It's not long enough for the tall ceiling that I have. So I'm ordering more stems to cover the cord and we'll see if they work. <laughs> I hope so. A few things I had to kind of tweak a little bit or I decided to. I feel like at least I got the majority of stuff out. I kind of know what's what and some of it's put together, but we're gonna go back to mom and mom's for supper and call it a day. What? 
You want me to smell it? What does it smell like? Your hair. Ooh. Do you like her little front porch here? It looks so nice. Cozy. Yeah, Jer, is he inside? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you me? Who is it? Hi, honey. Say hello. project this morning. So these I are for my kitchen above the island. And I ordered them off of Etsy. I think they came from, I don't know where, Turkey or something. They're like handmade, uh, somewhat flexible, but they're like dome shaped. They're pretty bright brassy gold. And I would like them to be a little toned down. Uh, they're like a, a hammered brass, I guess. And I would like them to look a little bit more antique instead of the kind of bright. I, I thought they weren't going to be this bright, you know, but it's hard to tell on pictures. So what I'm trying is this rub and buff. I've seen people use this and this is just a really small tube. I got in a pack of four, so I'm not sure how far this will actually go. And I've never done it before. And I've heard that you might have to spray paint it black and then put this on but i'm a little hesitant to do that so i'm gonna see what it does by just rubbing it on once um, i'm gonna try a brush at this point maybe i don't know so i've got two of them this i, I wish they were just a little bigger i'm not sure that i could have gone much bigger as far as the sizes they offered i i can't remember but i think they'll work i'm just hoping to kind of tone it down just a little bit So I think they're looking like I'm wanting them to look. They're just slightly less brassy. Uh, we'll see how they look when they get up there. So this was a little, the first one I had kind of brushed on and I wish I wouldn't have because I kind of messed it up a little bit. So this is the part that will go up at the ceiling. So hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, this one's a little nicer, smoother, but it isn't like a huge change. So I would say, from what I gather, if you're not gonna like be handling things very much, uh, it would be okay to just like rub it on like this. But I don't know for like high traffic areas and also the whole spray paint thing, I'm not sure about. You may need to do some research if you want it to look even older. So I use the European gold. There's different finishes. There's also an antique gold, but I, I use the European gold. This is the kids playroom or what will be the kids playroom. I'm about to get ready to paint it. At this point I'm just going to paint it in Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore. And at some point I will probably do some more fun things in here. 